We all know how amazing the growth engine is and all the amazing updates it usually has. Recently, we had a new one that actually has interesting changes in a couple of nodes that we will be checking out today. So let's start. So basically today we are going to be discussing about this new Godot version, Godot 4.3 Dev 6. Well, it was actually a version that was released a couple of weeks ago. But well, I didn't find a lot of people talking about what this version brought. Um, so that's why I am actually releasing this video in spite of being a little bit late, maybe. Um, well, here one important thing uh, that as you can see, this has a brand, a, a lot of commits, basically. It has twice uh, as more features as uh, other releases uh, are used to having. Um, so basically, uh, usually versions have something like 300 commits. And well, in this case, we have 650, which means that there are a lot of bug fixings, uh, some new features that we're going to be discussing. So it is like uh, a dev snapshot, but uh, um, that has interesting changes. Okay, and a lot of changes. Okay, <clears throat> so. Basically, this also means that in Dev6, we are quite close to Beta 1, actually. Uh, so we may be expecting Beta 1 in literally no time. So make sure that you are subscribed to the channel, because as soon as Beta 1 is released of this version, we are going to be checking it out, okay? Um, so basically, here in the highlights, okay, we are going to having uh, slight changes in the 2D physics, okay? Without has always... Uh, had problems, let's say, with physics, uh, has always had some kind of controversy with its physics engine, okay? So they are always doing some tweaks to it. And actually, well, this is the most important one, so I, I will leave it to the end, and that's, and I think that it's going to affect most of you that you are watching this. Uh, well, then some things here with the encoding of the engine of some kind of the resources. Um, and also some interesting here, Feature is the automatic checking for engine updates. Basically, uh, what we're going to have there is like an option in the Rote editor that if we turn on, we're going to be, uh, we are actually going to know when we open Godot if there is some kind of new version. So that's also quite good. Okay, so I will also show you how you can turn this option on in no uh, time. Okay, um, and so some things here for the depth buffer with the reverse Z. Okay. Uh, so we are basically going to be checking out the two, I think, the two main uh, new features here. That is the automatic checking for engine updates and here the time map layer as node. Basically, the time map node has been existing in Godot for a long, long time, and well, it didn't receive much updates in terms of how the system was structured because yes, indeed in Godot 4 we did have uh, some adjustments, uh, but well, it wasn't like so big, like changing the node completely or something like that. Um, so basically, what they are uh, converting now, a uh, tile map is basically breaking tile maps uh, into different tile map layer nodes. Okay, uh, basically, this is to avoid uh, uh, having lots of clutter in the inspector. So now we are going to have uh, the different tile map layers uh, just separating each other. Okay, instead of, instead of having uh, different tile maps or different layers in the same time. Okay, so it's basically having the same thing organized. Uh, however, uh, the functionality of creating the tile map, the tiles, etc., is going to be the exact same one. So do not really feel put off or something like that, or do not think that you will have to learn something from scratch because it's going to be the exact same system. Okay. Um, so basically, that's all. And then if we continue to scroll down, we're going to see here the download. So it's, you can download it right away over here, and then you can extract this zip, and you will have there the version of Godot. Now, if we go over here, uh, we're going to see a couple of changes, okay? First of all, here on the bottom right, okay, uh, I, I actually had it turned on, that's why we couldn't see it at the beginning of this. But here we have offline mode, update checks disabled, but well, if we click over here, we can uh, change here the network mode from offline to online. So basically here, every time there is a new version of Godot, we are going to have here some kind of pop-up or some window that will tell us, hey, uh, there is a new version of Godot, so go ahead and download it and update your engine. So that's quite cool, okay, because you don't anymore have to be uh, every day um, browsing here in the Godot website if there is some kind of new version. Uh, you will only have to open here Godot and here Godot somehow. We don't really know uh, how exactly because it is the first version that has this new feature. 
um, we will have here some kind of window or pop-up that we will tell you there is a new version, go ahead and update it, okay? So here there aren't much changes here. So uh, I will just here uh, go ahead and create a brand new project that I will call dev6 because this was uh, dev6 and I will uh, click here create and edit and let's actually see how this new time map is going to be working like but uh, you're going to see that indeed it is quite simple so uh, just to begin with this I will create a brand new to the scene and I will name it main and then I'm going to save it so <clears throat> This is quite simple, okay? Now, if we, at least on this version, if we look for time map, we're going to still be finding the uh, usual time map, okay? But we're going to have here like a warning. Um, basically, this class is marked as deprecated. Use multiple time map layer nodes instead. So from now on, if you really want to continue using time maps, or if you're planning on creating a project that is going to be using the time map, I really recommend you to basically uh, start using the time map layer. However, if you really want to use the time map, as you can see, you can, okay? There is no problem, at least from now. Uh, of course, in the future versions, this node may be completely, completely deleted, so there you're going to have to replace it. So right now, if you have some ongoing project and you're using time map, go ahead and replace it for time map layer. So let's quickly compare them because there aren't like a lot of differences that uh, we could talk about basically here well remember that here in time maps we used to have here the different layers that they could have and here the layers we could basically modify there are some properties i'm not really going to go into these properties because it is not a time map tutorial it is just an announcement of how this is going to be working from now on and basically now well instead of having here <coughs> the different layers we're going to have here the time map layer uh, and it's going to be a little bit more organized okay as you can see, the, the way of creating this time map is going to be quite similar, okay? You always have the tile set, that is basically the collection of tiles. Uh, so basically here, in order to create this tile set, you will click over here, create the new tile set, open it up, and then here on the tile set. In this case, I'm just going to use here the without icon, okay? Um, and here in this case, uh, let's make this slightly bigger. Uh, I think there is a way here, yes, it is 128 by 128, so let's make it that size, okay, like this, and the tile size, let's make it equal, okay, so here we have it, and now in our tile map, okay, we would be able to actually select here and start using our icon, okay, so yeah, indeed here the tile map, as you can see, continues working just fine. Okay, there we have it. Um, we have here a lot of warnings. I don't know. I don't know really why here. Um, but well, um, then in the <clears throat> time up layer, it is going to be again quite similar. You will have here to create the tile set. Okay, and uh, basically here again, you will have to create here your tile set. And let's give it here the same numbers that we gave it to the previous uh, tile map. Select it over here. Okay, and again, we would be able to just paint things around. Okay. Um, so you see here, as you can see inside of the tile set, we have the same exact options. So it's not going to be a big deal. Um, but well, here, of course, we aren't going to have here the, the layers option, okay? Because actually here we are going to have each layer by separated, okay? So that will be all basically here. There isn't much problem here in the in the differences. Just here a small recommendation. If you still have some kind of project using time map, from now on, just completely use time map layer. In spite of here, if you're using dev6 at least, you will still have here the time map to use if you really want to. Here we're always telling you stop using this, use time map layer. So let's just I agree with you do that and use time map layers instead. So this was all for today's video. If you really found it interesting, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Because as soon as there is some update, as soon as beta 1 is released or as soon as the uh, first official release uh, well, is released, I will of course be uploading this video as soon as possible. So see you in the next one and bye bye.